Well, spare houses continue to pop up in western Hancock County. Local fire departments are sounding the alarm tonight. The firefighters union there tells us they simply don't have the staff to fight fires at those massive buildings, and they're now asking for help to resolve this issue before something tragic happens. At 2.2 million square feet, this brand new Walmart distribution center in western Hancock County is the largest in the world. It's nearly twice the size of the Walmart warehouse in Plainfield that went up in flames in March of last year. But if something like that happened here, fire officials say it'd be even worse. If this building was to catch on fire, the whole county combined, including our paid departments and our volunteer departments, we do not have enough to even do half the response of the Plainfield fire. Western Hancock County has seen a building boom in recent years with warehouses being constructed faster than they can be filled. Fire hydrants and new streets have been constructed to keep up with the changing landscape, but the president of the local firefighters union, Tony Bratchett, says investments in public safety have not. We don't even have enough firefighters in this jurisdiction to operate safely at a house fire, let alone a warehouse. Bratcher worries for the safety of firefighters and residents. If a warehouse fire happened like the one in Plainfield, he says the problem all comes down to manpower. We have equipment. We have beautiful equipment. We've been fortunate that the county's given us equipment. We need people to use the equipment. And the root of the issue is money. Bratchard says most of the warehouses have tax abatements or are part of TIF districts, so the tax money doesn't go to things like fire services. Hancock County Council President Janine Gray is hoping that'll change. As I understand it, there is some uh, legislative language that could be changing to where monies out of the TIF uh, could be used for operating expenses, which would be really helpful for the departments. Bratcher says the problem won't be completely remedied in the near future, but things can't stay as they are. We have been reactive and I'm asking for proactive. Now the Hancock County Council will start budget talks next month. Councilwoman Gray said she is confident that the council will be in favor of getting more money to the county's fire departments.